welcome or welcome back to Haley's Space. My name is Haley, and I'm coming to you today with a day of knitting vlog. I wanted to try out this format to see if it works, to see if I like it, see if you guys like it. And today is my first day off of work for three weeks. I've got three weeks of leave. So I thought today's the perfect day to take you guys along with me throughout my day and show you what I get up to. This morning I had a really relaxed, chill morning. I slept in, had some coffee, had my breakfast whilst watching the new Knitting Pickle podcast. Thank you, Laura, for bringing out the new episode. I'm so happy. And I will be signing up to your Patreon because I'm excited to see more vlogs from you. If you haven't watched um, Laura from Penrose Knits, I definitely suggest you go check out her content. She is so funny and so beautiful and her kids are just so gorgeous so go check her out if you haven't my plan for the rest of the day is actually to head to the library soon i am currently studying for the gamsat this will be my third sitting of the gamsat and i'll be sitting it at the start of september so i'm going to go to the library and get a couple of hours of study in and i will be taking a knitting project with me because i do use the Pomodoro method to study. So I'll be doing 30 minutes on of study and then 10 minutes break in between. And during my breaks, I like to knit. So I'll be taking a project with me, which I will show you in just a second. Then after the library, I'm going to be heading to get my nails done with some girlfriends from work. And then after that, I've got a chill evening at home. I've got nothing to do except for knit, eat dinner and watch movies. So that's my plan for today. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Let me show you the project that I'll mainly be working on at the library today. If you have seen episode one of my knitting podcast, you will have seen this project. This is my Cumulus Blouse by Petite Knit. I hope you can see that a little bit. As you can see, I have bound off the body now. I was super nervous about the I could bind off, but... I figured it out. We've got some issues because I did omit the decreases, but I will talk more about that in episode two of my knitting podcast. But I have connected the first sleeve and that's what I'm going to be working on at the library today. I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who watched episode one of my knitting podcast. I really wasn't expecting such a wonderful reception and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. And I'm really excited to make the second one. I'm going to do my podcast episodes on more of a monthly basis. That gives me some more time to work on my knitting and not make me feel like I need to be producing a lot. Sometimes I go through phases where I'm not so prolific with my knitting or I'm focusing on other hobbies or other things going on in my life. For example, like studying for the GAMSAT. So I think a monthly basis for my podcast is what's going to work well for me personally. And as you can see, I wanted to try and sprinkle in a couple of vlogs and other videos in between and see how we go. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Nothing too serious, nothing stressful. Um, I'm just going to take you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. Let me know down in the comments where you guys are from. I had some lovely comments on my knitting podcast episode um, of some people watching from different places and I thought that was really cool. So let me know where you're watching from and let me know what project you're knitting on at the moment down in the comments below um, because I'd love, I'd love to know. Other than that, let's get cracking with the day.
uh, after lunch to go get my nails done with my friends from work and because there was four of us getting our nails done it took quite a while and then we ended up getting bubble tea and a bite to eat afterwards so I have been out of the house for a long time I didn't film anything I was gonna film part of my nails getting done but we were just talking so much so I got distracted and completely forgot but I got some uh, blue French tips which I'm very happy about it's exactly what I wanted the perfect shade of baby blue so I'm very happy with those um, but yeah I'm home now it's about 7 30 in the evening and I am gonna spend the rest of the evening knitting I feel like I didn't do as much knitting today as I hoped but that's okay things happen as you would have seen before I went out to go get my nails done I had some dumplings for lunch which were really good uh, they're gluten-free dumplings you can get them in the freezer section at Woolworths if you're in Australia but I was also knitting on a new cast on that you will not have seen I've got it just here because I want to work a little bit on it tonight I think but there's another new cast on that I might work on as well I'm in that stage where once you finish some big whips I sort of have a bit of cast on fever but the things I've casted on I'm not crazy excited about so I feel like I need a project that's going to reinvigorate my excitement but I really do want to keep like getting through my long standing whips. This whip is another pair of Sunday socks. Maybe I did show them in my podcast episode. I don't know. I don't think I did. If you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I showed these. Um, these are the Sunday Socks by Petite Knit. Um, and I'm knitting these up using uh, Four Seasons Montana in this beautiful navy colour. It's kind of tweedy. I think it's a wool and acrylic blend. I think it's... I don't have the ball band with me. I'll talk more about it in my knitting podcast, but... You can always look it up. There's a bit of wool in there and a bit of acrylic as well. Uh, and I'm knitting these up for my partner who is in the military at the moment. He's very, very cold. So I've been knitting on this today um, while thinking about him. But yeah, that's what I was working on before I went out to do my nails. And I think I might get some more work done on that this evening. I just realized my heater's going. I'm so sorry for the background noise but yeah I might do some more work on that whilst watching a movie I also have another new cast on but if I I'm not sure if I'm going to work on that so if I do I'll I'll show you but if I don't then this is what this is what I've been working on that's the plan for the rest of the evening I feel like I haven't done too much talking in this vlog today I think it's a a format that I'm gonna have to try and get used to because I'm so used to just going about my day, obviously, and not filming everything and not picking up the camera to talk. So I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm enjoying it so far. And I like having, you know, you guys here to show and to explain what I'm doing too. So that's been nice. I'm still trying to catch up on some YouTube because obviously I did quite a few hours of studying today, which you would have seen. Unfortunately, my time lapses were so out of focus. I don't know what happened. Normally, my time lapses are fine, and it's usually the videos that are out of focus and then I have to refilm. But yeah, my time lapse was completely out of focus the whole time. So, anyway, you would have seen it anyway because I think it's cute, but have to get that fixed. But because I was studying so much, I didn't have as much time to watch YouTube and relax as much as I thought I would. And obviously, I was out for four hours or something with my friends so yeah now I have some time to watch some TV to smash through some knitting and have something yummy to eat that's it for the evening I'll probably check in one more time before I go to sleep and just let you know what progress I made if I made any progress when I was at the library I made a pretty good amount of progress on <laughs> I say a pretty good amount of progress more than I thought I would on my cumulus blouse I did the first decrease round on the sleeve and got halfway to the next decrease round so I think that's pretty decent work on my part but yeah that's it for this evening I will check in again with you a little bit later
back <laughs> I'm here to sign off this vlog it's just ticked over to 12 o'clock uh, midnight and I managed to get through quite a bit of progress on my Sunday sock <laughs> I watched a bit of Harry Potter um, and also watched a couple of Penrose Knits Vlogmas in July, just re-watching some old ones. And just flew through the foot portion of this sock. I'm really happy with how it's come out actually. I got distracted and obviously I'm very tired <laughs> and I got overexcited and I accidentally kitchen a stitch the wrong way around. <laughs> So I didn't, I didn't move my stitches. So instead of Kitchener stitching across like the, sorry for the tram. Instead of Kitchener stitching across like the front and the back of the sock, I Kitchener stitched the side of the, stop, the sock. But I mean, it's fine. I actually don't mind how it looks on the front. It looks like one continuous like kind of seam if that makes sense with this particular decrease style. I really don't think you can, you'll be able to see it, but it just, it kind of looks like one continuous seam across the toe of the sock, which I actually really like the look of. Uh, it fits nicely. Uh, it's quite a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Uh, I don't know why I thought that 30 rows would be enough, but it's fine. Um, I think my partner, he'll like it anyway, even if it's a little bit short. I'm rambling now. All I wanted to say was the sock is done and I have casted on the second one. <laughs> That's my cast on. Oh my God. I swear everything is just always tangled with me. Um, I have casted on the second sock. I've just casted on the number of stitches that I need and that's it. I haven't got any further, but I find once it's actually on my needles, I actually start it um, and I don't get second sock syndrome. So I tend to cast it on straight after finishing the first one. That way it's there, it's ready to go and it's not just, you know, my empty needles sitting there with a ball of yarn. So that's all from me today. Uh, I'm gonna head to bed and have a good night's sleep. I have some more study to do tomorrow, unfortunately. <laughs> but I hope you guys liked this vlog. I will hopefully in my next vlog have a little bit more knitting to show you. Today was a little bit random and my time got sort of away from me throughout the day, but I'm happy with the progress that I made and I hope you guys enjoyed following along with me and seeing what I got up to. As I said earlier, my next podcast will be coming out at the start of September and I have lots and lots to show you then. So I'm really excited to film that one and I hope you are too. And again, please let me know down in the comments what you're working on so I can get some inspiration. <laughs> and I hope you guys are safe and well wherever you are. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.